In this week's video, I returned to Merritt Island to check out the aftermath of the wildfire, and I brought along Vanessa and Capri so they could see the results of the fire firsthand. So I'm here at the intersection where in my last video where Odin and I were out running the wildfire, there was a park ranger parked right here blocking the road due to how close the fire was getting. You guys have to see this. Here's a clip from the previous video that shows how close the fire was coming to the road. Note that sign. I think it's probably going to be pretty hard to capture the full magnitude of just how big this fire was without being allowed to fly a drone here in the wildlife refuge. But as we go along and we go back down Biolab Road, maybe we'll see some more. As we drove along County Road 3, we looked for a side road that would take us farther into the burned area. Not far from the intersection was a dirt road that led further east into where the fire had raged. I was hoping for somewhere I could park, take a walk around, and shoot some video, and it was just a short drive before we found that perfect spot. So we're not quite to Biolab Road. We're actually on, I think, Scrub Ridge. It's a birding trail, and here we can actually get up really close, and you can kind of see the full effects of this fire because the road that we were on acted a bit of as a natural fire break. And then Biolab, of course, having Mosquito Lagoon on the other side, it's not gonna burn through there, but it did burn through here. So just walking through the woods here and looking at these trees, the fire burned well over my head height in a lot of these places, and the ground is just scorched. Absolutely crazy how fast and destructive these things can be. Wildfires, like this one, which occurred from a lightning strike, are a natural occurrence, and the scrub area will regenerate over time. Just listen to how dry that ground is. Now, there is a man-made structure here right on the edge of the parking lot that appears to escape the fire unscathed, as does the Scrub Ridge Trail sign, but it was close. It got really, really close. It looks as if the fire came right up to the covered signs. Now I thought this was coincidental. The sign has information about the scrub fire cycle, and as you can see by the weathering on the sign, it was here before the fire came through. As we left the Scrub Ridge Trail, we noticed that to the right, which was north, there were no signs of the fire. The dirt road apparently acted as a fire break, and in combination with some favorable winds, prevented the fire from spreading farther in that direction. We continue down County Road 3 to check out Biolab Road and see if the fire had reached that area. Fortunately, we didn't see any more fire damage, but we did find a couple other surprises. Oh my, no, no, keep 
driving, please keep driving, please keep oh, driving. Oh yeah. No, please keep driving. So just jumped out of the truck because we saw two alligators here in Mosquito Lagoon. There was one there. And there was one there. But once I threw it in park and hopped out, they both went underwater. Now bear in mind, this is extremely salty water. I wonder if they're the American crocodile. Missed opportunity on the gators, but I'm sure we're gonna see more. We're just getting started, but the weather, the weather's pretty rough. Take a look behind Everest right now. With the thunderstorm moving in, we decided to head out when we saw another alligator sitting alongside the bank. An alligator and a thunderstorm headed our way? No thanks, it was time to go. See you next time.